Hey guys, this is Oscar with Detail Group, and in this video, we're going to be talking about mistake number six on setting your prices too low. Now, I do have a bunch of other videos on the mistakes I made when studying my car design billions, so if you want to check them out, by all means, they're going to be somewhere in this video. Uh, so let's get straight into it on setting your prices too low. So uh, when you first start off your detailing business, you'll kind of go to the mental state of, you know, friends and family aren't customers, I need to go find new ones. I'm gonna go to business parks, shopping centers, door-to-door uh, -door in your neighborhood, so on and so forth to get customers. But realistically, um, your friends and family should be pretty much like your amplifiers, as I call them. Uh, they should pretty much just like maniacs tell everyone about your business. Uh, they should, you know, give you a shout on, on social media, they should tell their coworkers, they should tell their employees, they should uh, reach out to their friends and family uh, to kind of just give you that early traction of customers because obviously you can't really set prices or charge prices or charge for your services if you have no customers. So obviously you need customers uh, and a super super uh, easy and effective way to get you know, some serious traction is to just either, you know, uh, of course it's up to you if you wanna charge full price or, or you know, what have you for your friends and family, but you could uh, detail their vehicles and then just literally tell them to tell everyone about your business. This will give you a few customers to come in uh, or even really get a snowball rolling uh, in terms of just make them, you know, make them email their coworkers, email their friends, uh, Facebook, uh, when they're with their friends and, you know, just in, in person and so on and so forth. Really just tell them to really just, uh, like a maniac, scream your name to everyone. Now, once you do have a few customers trickling in, once you have, you know, once you get a few customers, you really don't need to wait that long to charge full price or original price or whatever price you have in mind for your detailing services. Uh, I think one thing what the problem may be is, that, and which you know also happened to me, obviously, is that um, you know you think uh, you think mentally that you're not good enough or you need to wait longer or you don't have enough credentials or you don't have enough customers or you haven't been enough in business long enough to charge your full price and realistically you know the customer doesn't know that you've only been in business for a week two months three months five days one day so i mean in in terms of what the customer thinks all they think about is okay this is a detailer i have this problem in my car they have the solution can they fix it for me? Yes. Well, then everything's fine. So that's all that really matters to the to, to the customer. Uh, so of course you have a few that 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 want to see credentials, that want to see how long you've been in business, and will completely justify you off of that. Of course that's going to happen. Um, but for the most part, I mean, you could you know the customer doesn't know how long you've been in business. It's kind of irrelevant because if you have the skill set. If you know the know-how, if you have the understanding of detailing, if you know how to fix a solution, then what does time really have to do with anything? Because you have the solution, you know what to do, you can charge for it. So by all means, I don't know how much you want to charge depending on the state, on the services you offer, if this is a full-time or hobby type deal. But by all means, I mean, if you want to start charging $25, $50, $75 an hour, you can do that because it's highly dependent on what your time is worth. And of course, if you think like the market that you're in and if it's going to accept high rates, so on and so forth. But um, by all means, if you want to charge a high price, if you want to be a high-end detailer, if you want to, you know, whatever you want, you can do that at an early stage because there's no need for you to wait. Of course, you might get, you might turn down more customers because they can't accept your price. But by all means, it's absolutely fine because you'll still make the full amount of money that you want, just not and and not work on as many cars. But just, like I said, you'll be making more money, or at least you'll be making the same amount of money because instead of lowering your price and working on more cars, you'll work on less cars and still charge the normal price that you want to charge. So. Next thing would be uh, be confident um, or get more confidence. Again, going back to the last video, mistake number uh, mistake number five is that uh, you know you don't need credentials, you don't need um, you know to get trained or certified to know to have the you know to have the skill set to have the confidence to say, hey, look, I have the solution, I can do that. This is how much I'm going to charge. Now, by all means, you do need to have great detailing skills. You do need to have you didn't know you, you do need to know the ins and outs of how to detail. You need to do provide a you know exceptional customer service and and, and quality of service. But um, so make sure that's on point. But also, like I said, you know, have the confidence to say, hey, look, I know that's the problem. I have the skill set. I know the know how. This is how much I'm going to charge. And let that be it. Don't don't think mentally that you have to have a, a low price uh, to 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 uh, to get that customer. Because again, people hardly ever buy on price. They they they'll buy on value. So if they see enough value in what you have to offer, they'll pay you for that. And if they don't see the value in it, it doesn't matter if you drop your price all the way to ten dollars for a full interior cleaning. They're not gonna buy it because they probably don't see the value in it. And they probably won't be a good customer if they're gonna be uh, penny pinching you, saying, "Oh, you know, you're charging with fifty. I'll do it for a hundred dollars flat. Come on, let's do it." So you know. Really, uh, obviously, kind of find out what type of customer you're, you know, interacting with. But by all means, don't wait too long and have some confidence to charge your full prices. Because at the end of things, 
you have the skill set, you know the know-how, you have the tools, you have the resources, they don't, they have the problem that they need fixed, you have that solution, charge them your full amount and get paid for it. So hope this video was good for you. Uh, leave a comment down below. Again, in, this, in the description, we're gonna have a quick recap of everything we explained so you don't have to watch this video again. You can just download it down below. Um, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video so I know you guys are, or, or thumbs it down if you don't like it. Uh, but give me a thumbs up and then I'll see you on the next video which would be mistake number seven.